I'm gonna hoof it back to the Excelsior. I gotta take a wicked shit. Can you stop fucking interrupting me? We've been offered a ride here. You know how these people are about formalities. Why don't you use the one in there? I didn't have to go there. Just a kid. The kid only got firecrackers on him. You're dragging me to hell. What? What's You're the matter? What's the hell. matter? You're dragging me to hell. Paulie, Paulie! You had a nightmare, honey. Mommy, oh. someone was screaming. I'm scared. No, honey, it's okay. It's okay. Uncle Paulie had a bad dream. Mommy! Come here, baby. It's all right. All right. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm putting up the bed. And I'm going home to sleep. I don't need to keep everyone up with this. Come on. Let's go to sleep. Come talk to me. On Friday, we have fish. If you're Catholic, so that's nice. Sounds like the Ritz. Mm. You gotta see her, Aunt Mary. She's the bell of the ball over there. Here, man. Rest those dogs. Hey, what's going on? Nobody cutting the lawn? Oh, my own. Mr. Vitro, the gardener? Somebody beat him up, broke his arm. God forbid. Sal Vitro? Who beat him up? Some men in a Cadillac. He was mowing a lawn on Kimball Street. Man said he didn't want him in the neighborhood. Poor Sal, what a nice man he is. He put my garbage cans out every time he cut my grass. What's his name, Aunt Mary? Salvatore Vitro. Ma, the guy that beat him up. Man came by and said he was going to cut the lawns. I said, no, I want Mr. Vitro. Ye Gary Lamanna landscape. Do you know him? He just goes. I'll straighten it out. He is. Salvatore, my dolly. <laughs> my aunt told me about it. But what did they ever do to this guy? They released these fucks from the can. Obviously, he wasn't rehabilitated. Here's my livelihood. I don't have a yard no more, Sally. I'm in a condo. Otherwise, you know, I'd have you out there with your snippers. Even with your bum wing. My wife at this point. She's got me thinking about going to the cops. What are you talking about? Where you from? I don't know what to do. You got friends, don't you? Well, you know I always steered clear of stuff. What stuff? I go, I talk to the guy for you. Get you back your stops. I know him. Yeah? So you give me a token. I don't know. Couple percent. Thanks, Paulie. This one and the next one. You all right? I know I have my differences with that kid, but maybe I didn't do right by him, neither. If you were his dad, I was his Dutch uncle. And what the fuck did I do but get pissed off? Fight with him over cocksucking fucking money. And break his balls when he tried not to have a drink or a little taste of snow. It's over, Paulie. 